<laughs> the Blue and the Gray is probably CBS's most ambitious undertaking in many and many a year. It is Bruce Catton's novel of the Civil War, starting, what, about 1860? 59. 1859. And, wow, it's going to be on the network for three nights. It starts November the 14th, and I want you to meet two of the stars of the show. This is Cooper Huckabee. And just to be able to say his name, and that's his <laughs> real name, is something in and of itself. He plays the role of Matt Geyser, and this mm -hmm. is Penny Pizer, and she is Emma Geyser. Now, you're going to be <laughs> tested right after the show to see if you got all those names right. Penny Pinesier and Cooper Huckabee. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hey, now, I've, I've heard that you discovered a lot of people who were Civil War buffs who were in the cast who really seemed to know about the Civil War that had done a lot of studying. What was the name of that group who, who uh, does the historical fights? They, were, they, were, they played um, soldiers in a couple of big battle scenes. Oh. It's some historical group. Yes, oh, it is. Out of Arkansas, isn't it? I feel really terrible. You mean like the Daughters of the American Revolution? No, they're, they're a group of people who get together and reenact famous battles. And I believe they're specific. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yes, I can't remember I can't remember, I can't remember their name, but this is this incredible group who said, oh, yes, well, of course you want to be part of this. I mean, these guys have studied the intricacies of all these battles from whatever historical record, records are available. And they came and, you know, participated in the battle scenes. And these guys really know down to the toothpicks what these battle, what went on in these battles. Mm -hmm. So to have that kind of input from a group like that was really neat. The mm -hmm. wonderful thing about her is she gets to go crazy at the end of the show. Isn't <laughs> it fun to play someone who is wacko? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the director? I have a two-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> the director didn't have to tell you what to do? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not, not exactly. You know, he was he was very helpful. Uh, no, it, it was pretty straightforward. I mean, it was a you know, you just read the situation, you read the script, and <laughs> it just sort of happens. Was it hard? You see, they represent a southern, a southern, very southern family. Mm -hmm. Was it hard? You had to say nigger lover. Mm -hmm. Was it hard to roll it out? Yes, I'm um, Veronica Red, who plays Hattie, who uh, plays our, one of our slaves. Mm -hmm. um, oh. <laughs> I mean, mm. she stood right there, and I said, I'm sorry, Veronica. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was, I mean, when I, when I studied my line, I was, I was thinking, oh, and then I realized, come on, this girl, this is just a word she uses every day, and it's just like mm -hmm. nothing. So I just really just threw it away like it was something I said every day, which I'm sure this, ca this character or person like this did. Mm -hmm. um, so once I got over thinking about it as me, uh, it was fine. Got into the, the character, character I mean. You know, it's strange about this guy. I, did, you know, did you know Cooper Huckabee before? Is no, this your first met, met him? Because met. he's really a very gentle, easy, comfortable person. And yet he comes across on the screen as really, you come across stronger than you are in real life. Really? Yeah. You're, you're, you're almost kind of mean. Hmm. No, no, this is a positive, this is a positive, uh -huh. a positive way. You've got a great deal of strength on screen. Thank you. You know, because it's almost like yeah. you downplay yourself in real life, and you, you just take it on when you get on the screen. Hmm. Uh, the scene between you and your brother. See, the brother is on, well, the brother doesn't fight, doesn't want to fight, and he's really kind of allied with the North, and so... Cooper is on the side of the South, and they have a great confrontation scene in there. It's a very effective and very moving scene. Thank you. Luke. How did you feel about those the costumes you had to wear? Were they comfortable, or were they a mess? They were extremely a mess. No, uh, a little hot, but um, I don't know. You just it just sort of become a part of you. Mm -hmm. um, how about your hoop skirts and all that good stuff? <laughs> aren't those are, those aren't are wonderful? Those are amazing. You really have to, I mean, I finally just got, I mean, you'd get so tired. It was a question, of, am I going to sit down or not? I mean, you'd be standing for hours and then you'd go, heck with it. And I, you just would sort of lift up the back hoop and just sort of lift, put it over your chair. What Would either of you have liked to have lived at that time, 1859, 1860, through the Civil War? I wouldn't have. Not me. No. No way. No. This generation has me spoiled. I'm happy. Well, you're from Mobile, Alabama, from Mobile, Alabama. so you see they, they cast him <laughs> because of his southern accent. Of course. And could, could, could you do a King Lear, for example, King Lear. Cooper, without that accent? Oh, I'll try anything once. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I, I, I don't know. I'm not really into... I had my mother's Shakespearean actor, but... Uh, 
It's like giving a whirl. Yeah. Well, how did you guys feel about acting with uh, the Gregory Pecks and the Stacy mm -hmm. Keaches mm -hmm. of this world? Well, I wish I'd gotten to do something with Gregory Peck. I didn't, though. Yeah. I wasn't I didn't involved in any of his scenes. We loved watching his dailies. Yeah. <laughs> it's as close as we got. <laughs> now, expl explain to our audience what, what that means. Oh, dailies. Um, every day, you know, you do a certain amount of work. In the film, we were in Arkansas. The film got flown to L.A. and flown back the next day in cassette form because we were just in a hotel. And they would play the cassettes and, and check out what they did to make sure it was okay for, you know, picture and sound and everything and make sure they got what they wanted. And well, if they didn't, they would reshoot. Well, why would they have to fly it all the way to California? I mean, well, that's where they, they had the contract with the lab, I guess. That's what oh, did it, was it shot on film oh, and yes, not on videotape? Oh, no, shot mm. on film. And oh. what would happen was it would be, you know, developed as film. And then for the convenience of um, Andrew McLaglen and Hugh Benson mm -hmm. and everything, they would just put it in cassette form so you could, because there was no screening room available and no time. It was much easier to just dash up to the hotel room when we'd get back mm -hmm. and plug a cassette in and see what happened yesterday. <laughs> what, what did you think when you saw yourself? Did you, did you like? what you had done, or, or are you the kind who said, oh, I, I could have done that better, or I'd like well, to Well, I think I've always felt, I mean, I, I always feel I could do it You better. always do it better. You know, a lot of times in television, you have to work so fast, and mm -hmm. even when you think out what you're going to do, you know, suddenly it's over, and you go, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long did it take to do this? 17 weeks, I think. Yeah, well, that's not very long, though, when you're in not covering the whole the entire Civil War, eight hours a day. Oh, goodness, about 12 hours a day. 12, 12 hours a day? Yeah. yeah. Well, what did you learn from this? What was the most important thing for you, Cooper? That I learned? Mm -hmm. From a um, professional standpoint? Or no, really. I mean, I'm talking, like, his historic, historic. Like, for example, I, when I was watching the first part about uh, the raid on Harper's Ferry, I guess I didn't realize that John Brown was a white man. Mm. Hmm. I didn't, you know, it was one of those things in history that somehow I thought John Brown was black. And then I said, wait a minute, now they've got this. I said, why did they cast a white person in that role? Hmm. So, I mean, there, it's, it's, a, it's a learning situation about the Civil War. So I, I mean, I learned, learned <laughs> my yeah. history, I never did well in history, <gasps> yeah, but I, mean, I, I learned that about the Civil War. Mm -hmm. I, I had mis mm -hmm. mistaken some information. Mm -hmm. well, did you learn anything about this, or is it in such jumbled pieces mm -hmm. for you? No, I think you, definitely I learned something I didn't know. I think I experienced it more on an emotional level than I would have sitting back in a classroom in, yeah, yeah. in junior high or mm -hmm. whatever. You see it up front. It's more of a reality emotionally. Mm -hmm. Would okay. you recommend that the kids watch it? Most definitely. Yeah, I was. I, I was actually. I mean, I was thinking it, it was so well researched. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, gosh, it would be great if it could become one of those shows that the National Education Department recommended. Well, I for think the CBS Reading Program, see. CBS Reading Program, has recommended this. And so they will send out to the schools who participate a reading guide, and they'll give background mm. and history, and the kids can so then watch it. I think that would be great. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Because yeah. yeah, we're be missing some big chunks in our, in our country's history for uh -huh. those of us who haven't really studied it very, very carefully. Mm. So you're going to be looking for it. It starts November the 14th, and we'll skip a night, and then November 16th and 17th. It's three hours. Uh, three hours each night, so it's going to run a long time, but boy, will you get a story of the Civil War. <laughs> hey, Cooper, I'm impressed. Oh, I'm really impressed. You, you did a nice you. job. Nice job. Thank you so Penny, much. Penny, welcome nice to, to the you. fold. Thank you. And good luck. It's the blue and the gray. Thank you, Lena. And 10-11 morning continues.